This YouTuber committed one of the cardinal sins of YouTube, something that not even somebody stupid like Leafy is here or Keemstar would ever even get close to. This YouTuber named Synthetic Man, who on the looks of his content looks like he should have about 20,000 subscribers at a max, and I know that's coming from somebody that's just under 4K. I mean, speaking of which, I'm right around the corner to 4K, so if you could please just spend 10 seconds down there, hit that subscribe button, smack it around a little bit, it would be much appreciated. Anyways, this YouTuber makes mostly like reviews about movies and shows and stuff like that. He made a very bad take about a show which we'll get into but then he also dissed a youtuber which this youtuber you just you don't diss this is the guy that, that just you talking about him will summon like demons inside your room so we'll, we'll get into that so just first I want to talk about what synthetic man did to start this whole kind of festering pimple before we even touch on who he talked about that was so important now arguably for me all jokes aside this first part is more important to me because he does talk about what is called race mixing quote unquote and if you don't know I have a Philippine fiance that I'm getting married to next year that is definitely not white and I love with my entire life. And throughout his assumption, he assumes that I as a white man am trying to kill off the white race. Let's just let's just take a look before I get too far down the rabbit hole. But as of right now, he is Cooper Howard, a Marine veteran who is famous for something. I don't think they explain it in this scene, but they imply he played some kind of cowboy character. I don't know if it's for commercials or military propaganda. And now he just does birthday parties for alimony payments. And I find this even more funny because his kid is mixed race. So his black wife divorced him and now he plays fucking birthday parties. How black pilling is that? And at the risk of getting a shit ton of dislikes from normies, just like my review of the first episode of The Last of Us, I find this even more funny because if you know anything about marriage statistics, you would know that white male black female actually has the lowest divorce rates. So in a way you could almost say this is anti-propaganda, but I still think it's promoting race mixing. I still think this promotes race mixing. As I've said, I have a non-white partner, and if we have a child, I would love them more than any white person that's ever existed on planet Earth. And as we'll get into later, he strongly believes that they're trying to kill off white people or cancel off white people. And dude, I can tell you pretty confidently, as a white man, a straight white man, you're a fucking moron. So, all that aside, uh, he makes that video and he posts it. It's, it's a video synopsis about the fallout TV series which obviously that that is taken way out of pocket of what he said it's not taken out of pocket in the context of the clip it's it's fully in his video I'll link in the description you can go watch it however he makes that ridiculously stupid take and then the the video kind of blows up because he's not a small channel you know his initial audience sees it and then it spreads it and then the general mass sees it and they're like hey that's kind of fucked up why would you say something stupid like that and people start noticing how much of a bad video this is dude really said I watched it with my mommy and we didn't like the race mixing did he just say promoting race mixing what in the Jim Crow South some people will really say shit like this and swear they aren't racist that's that's fucking true <laughs> alcohol won't affect my child the child so as the internet do this video got pushed around a lot up to the point where synthetic man was getting a lot of hate deserved and it made its rounds so much that eventually it ended up on a podcast that had moist critical on it which Charlie is our secret youtuber that we're talking about and in a little context of YouTube you don't diss the man Charlie Charlie is while he's not on Untouchable. He is a very humble and respectful YouTuber, and I, outside of any kind of ooh, never, you know, touch this guy joke, he, he really is a really cool dude, and, and I really respect him. Beyond my personal feelings about Charlie, Synthetic Man was informed during a live stream he was doing just after posting the Fallout video that Charlie himself on a podcast with Oompaville had reacted to what the Fallout video. Big, I literally have, I have a hundred... Uh, you know, I've what 132,000 subs. What what am I at again? I forgot. 132,000, and I have people with multiple millions attacking me, or at least I think Critical has multiple millions, right? Yeah, it, Critical is 15 million. He's talking about a guy with 140,000 subs. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. Well, when did he turn to such a fag? Oh, oh. Speaking of which, I'm ashamed of my past self. Let's fucking watch this. You fucking bitch. Yeah, this is a, a 26 minute clip of him rambling about fucking movie reviews. And he says, I'm ashamed of my past self. This is fucking... This is the shit. This is the guy shitting on me. You gotta be fucking kidding. I, I Critical is the biggest sellout on this fucking platform. His word is worth nothing. Literally the most like normie, zoomer appealing, milk toast, like 
sucking off every fucking normie ass opinion like fucking just, i it's disgusting to me that i used to watch his channel because he used to be kind of funny now we have rewatched some of his old videos and they haven't aged perfectly but uh, greed ruined these youtubers one day ago it, it, coming from him you you fucking scum i'm glad this manlet got cheated on his girlfriend got tired of his tiny penis and left him Watch the clip on the pie. Fucking hell. What's the called? What's the video called? What was it? Hour and 27 minutes? Is that what you guys said? Oh my god, this is gonna be so cringe. Awesome, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, there's only one guy that's sticking to his guns about the show is just woke propaganda. It's garbage. And it's the uh, the classic synthetic man. I don't know if you've seen his like Tears yeah. of the Kingdom review. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like the last holdout. And I decided to watch what he said about Fallout because I was curious. And the, one of the first things he mentions is propaganda about race mixing. And it was, I, fuck, I was fucking stunned. What? It was crazy. Yeah, one of his first complaints is that it's propaganda oh, about race mixing him. in the beginning. When? Because uh, the dad gets divorced and like the very first kid in the, the show, like, uh, I'm trying not to give spoilers, but like, one of the oh kids spoilers the no no it's spoilers it's not him trying to find the politically correct words for mixed race child it definitely is <laughs> spoilers for the first five minutes yeah i know he knows exactly what he's doing there it definitely got caught right there he was about to say something racist i fucking knew oh my god these fuckers Dude, how is it trying to find it politically correct to not say a mixed race child? That's not racist to say that a child is mixed race or a mixed kid. That's not, that's not racist. What's racist is saying that you don't want that to be a thing. You don't want two parents that aren't of the same race to make a baby. That's the racist part. If I have a kid, again, with my partner who I love very much, I'm going to say, hey, this is my kid. This is her name or his name. And that's going to be that. If I'm ever filling out a form, I'm going to say, yes, they have two different races. They come from two different races. That's not fucking racist. What's racist? is to wish those things weren't together i is black and he's white so he's talking about like oh it's race mixing and promoting race mixing but that's not even being woke <laughs> what <laughs> that's crazy why would you even do you know what woke is retard oh my god more people don't know what the fuck woke means oh my. how do people not know what woke means like what i mean I, I know that's kind of like maybe intentional by the grifters to like shift to what woke means how is that not what woke means what do these people think woke means i i legitimately don't understand what the fuck? <laughs> i know it's it's outrage i i recommend you that check that out but it's fucking absurd and the amount of times he mentions <laughs> male the word male is crazy to me he's like uh, hey, this is fucking beta male and this is like a yeah this male over here and then this is the only competent male and then you have this female He's getting triggered by the word male? What the fuck? What even is this? He's getting triggered by the word male. This is like the gayest shit. Again, it's not like these people actually believe in anything except making money. This is a point that I hear about some people that make videos of quite often, and I just, I want to address it here because it, it really does fascinate me, that people think that every YouTuber should take these stances of, like, politics and economics and, you know, just all this very controversial, very opinionated stuff when some people just want to tell stories or talk to their audience or review things or whatever. That would be, to me, like expecting Linus Tech Tips to make a video on why Trump should be president or shouldn't be president. Like, it's just absurd. And yes, Charlie and Oompa and others like that they do make videos about other people and saying hey this situation is bad hey this situation is good maybe possibly they could be safe tubers in some stretch of the imagination i mean i myself i don't go out of my way to demonize people but i definitely make my opinion known and so i think they do as well just because we're not like ah they're using woke messages in this youtube video here like that's just fucking stupid and delusional everybody's entire being revolves around these red-pilled politics like yours do i I mean, seriously, I want to know what they think the definition of woke is, because it's got to be some retarded shit, especially Oompaville. I mean, what do you mean it's not woke? Yeah, you don't think erasing white people from existence is is woke, maybe? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm already crossing the line even saying that. But, yeah, I'm sure he doesn't care about us becoming a minority in our own country or any of that. That doesn't matter at all. Fucking... Piece of shit.
And here we go. This is even more of what I was talking about. He says quite specifically erasing white people isn't woke or whatever. Uh, dude, dude, you're f I, I don't even need to go back into my long spiel. You're just fucking stupid. I mean, these are the beta males basically <laughs> that I was talking about in the video. Look at this guy in the lower right. Uh, nice curly hair, bro. Very interesting phenotype. Again, man like cuck. I, this guy, I barely know who this guy is, but again, another save tuber. Fucking comic book reviewer. I just don't know how this delusional dude can talk about anyone else in the context of their manlyhood or being beta or whatever he wants to say. I mean, the joke writes itself, right? Like, this guy's got the muscularity of Mort from Madagascar, and he looks like he shouldn't be within 200 meters of any school zone, but that's just my opinion, I guess. But uh, that's that's pretty much the whole story. I'm gonna link all videos involved down in the description. There's some more dumb stuff that he spills off, so make sure you go watch it before it gets deleted, because it will, because it's just stupid. This is my first and hopefully last interaction interaction with synthetic man i'm not gonna watch any of his other videos because he's just cringe plainly and simply but like i said please subscribe i'm so close to 4k and i will see you guys next time